So hey, it's Rob, and I'm out in the backyard today. I'm going to be working in the garden, or at least I had planned on it, and uh, I was going to be hauling some dirt bags out to the front so that I could put them in the garden, because they're, you know, like 50 pounds each, and I've got eight of them. Uh, and frankly, I just don't like carrying 50 pound bags of dirt, and I have a wheelbarrow. Except, the wheelbarrow decided to have a little breakdown. And this is what happened. Now the reason that this happened is there's normally a piece that goes on the front here that uh, it's a little metal bridge that holds these two ends together and keeps the wheel captured. Unfortunately, uh, as you can see, this wheelbarrow is pretty old and the wood has kind of rotted. I mean, it's 30 years old, so you know I don't think the wood is meant to last that long. Uh, I do have new replacement pieces on order. Uh, they should be coming in the next week or two. Uh, it's not really a super critical event or anything. But in the meantime, I need to find a way to put this back together so that it will stay together long enough for me to use it until I get the, re <coughs> until I get the replacement pieces. <sighs> so my idea is to use this piece of aluminum. Uh, it's a piece of aluminum tubing from a shelter that kind of destroyed itself and uh, is pretty much unfixable because these pieces you can't really find anywhere. So uh, I'm going to need to cut this. Well first I need to put the wheel back in its place. Let's see if we can do that without a whole lot of hassle. Boy, that's a short axle. Now yeah, this wheelbarrow has definitely seen better days. Uh, yeah, some of you are asking why I don't just get a new wheelbarrow, and why should I get a new wheelbarrow? I mean, if I can fix this one, it's a lot cheaper, right? And here we go, finished product. It's nice and solid, it's not gonna go anywhere. And I'm pretty sure that that will keep it in place for now. These, this tire is gonna need to be replaced too. I think this whole wheel assembly probably will be. I might turn this into a double wheel one because I really like the double wheel. Uh, if you're wondering why I didn't put it down on this end, it was because there's nothing left to really screw into here. So I had to put it up here and hopefully that will take it for a while. If not, what I'll end up doing is I'll go get some pipe strap and strap it across the front on the outside. But for now, I think that'll do. And uh, now I can get back to actually hauling dirt. Joy. All right, see you guys. And then of course, while I was hauling, broke the, uh, broke the arb rail. <laughs> But it lasted for as long as I needed it to to get those out front. So, you know, that's like 300 pounds worth of dirt that I didn't have to move by hand very much. So, I think we're okay. And the other pieces will be coming, I can replace them. Put them back in. Fix the wheel. It's almost like I know how to do that stuff. So this is what I have to add. I've got six 1.5 cubic foot bags of the uh, garden soil. Um, it's you know, miracle Grow. It's one of the, you know, it's a decent brand. 
Uh, it is organic. It is made of compost. Um, we're good to go there. And I've got uh, 50 pounds of diatomaceous earth. Now I'm doing this primarily for ant control and grub control in the garden. Uh, I do have a problem with ants in here, and there's there's a whole a whole backstory in the ant war, but um, it is what it is. So I am going to try and add the dirt to the garden. Now what I really should do is I should go in here and rake because there are pieces of brick and rocks and things that don't really hurt anything all that much, but it would be better probably to be rid of them. But I don't know that I'll do that now. But what I want to do is dump these out and then till them thoroughly and hopefully at some point do a raking. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get how much of this I'm going to get done tonight. I'm going to try and get the soil and the diatomaceous earth down. Uh, probably not the raking, maybe the tilling. I'm not sure yet. We'll, we'll see. It gets a little dusty. I think that's it for me for the night. Uh, it's a little more work than I'm used to because I'm old and stuff. Uh, but, you know, it's relatively level. It actually looks pretty decent. It's not perfect, but it's evened out well enough, I think, for, you know, at least for the garden. There's probably not more than six inches of variance through the whole thing. So, uh, Anyway, I think I'm done with the garden. I'm going to leave it uncovered for the night. I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow, or at least shower. Um, I don't really want to water it right now, but I suppose I could. Uh, it's just, it's more work. I don't want to do that. It'll, it'll rain. Uh, I'm going to leave it uncovered for a couple days, let it sort of equalize and mix in let all the bacteria from the compost spread in and sort of reactivate the soil. Uh, hopefully some ants will come in and try and build their homes and get all that diatomaceous earth and, you know, carry it back to their nest and it'll all go away. Uh, it seems to work pretty well. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it works. Uh, I, the gardening thing is all still kind of new to me. Well, it's not new, new, but it's there's a lot I don't know. And... It's a hobby. It's a hobby, really. It's a hobby. One of many. All right, see you guys later.